Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am continuing with my $50 makeup challenge. This time though, with the brand Wet n Wild. But before we get into that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video every Wednesday and Saturday. Also make sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and enjoy this series. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, so for those of you who do not know, I do have an ongoing series in which I pick a brand or a store and I see how much of a full face of makeup I can get from that brand or that store for only $50. This is only my second video in this series. The first video was with e.l.f. I will link that up in the cards above if you'd like to go check that out. This time around though, so last time with e.l.f. I was out buying stuff and I realized that I bought about $50 of makeup and it was just about a full face. So I decided to go ahead and start this challenge. This time though, it's a little bit different. As I was going through all of my products, I did realize that I already have a full face of makeup, just about, from the brand Wet n Wild. So I didn't actually have to go out and buy anything, but I am going to tell y'all how much each of these products are. The prices that I will be giving you are from the Wet n Wild website. You usually can find products from this brand a little bit cheaper at Ulta, Walmart, or Target. Usually a brand's website has the highest price that you can find a product, um, especially for drugstore products. And at the end, I will give you a total to see how much money you need to spend to get a full face of makeup from the brand Wet n Wild. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna bring y'all close and we're gonna get started on the eyes as always. So first to prime my eyelids, I am gonna be using the Photo Focus Concealer. This comes in 14 different shades. I have the shade Light Medium Beige and this is $3.99. Alright, next moving on to eyeshadow. So this right here is the Color Icon Eyeshadow 10 Pan Palette. This comes in eight different shades. I have the shade Rosé in the Air, and it is $4.99. All right, so to start off, I am going to set my primer by using this bone shade up here. So now I'm gonna take this top transition shade right here, and that's gonna be my transition shade. Then we're just gonna go down the side. I am gonna use this shade right here and put that a little bit below that transition shade. Last crease shade, I'm gonna go down the side again, and we're gonna go into this shade right here, and I'm gonna put that directly in my crease. So then I'm going to skip a shade, and we're gonna go down to this one right here, this dark brown shade, and I'm going to darken up the outer edge with that. All right, so lastly for the eyeshadow, we gotta add a little bit of shimmer. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here kind of this champagne shimmer shade, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Moving on to mascara, we are gonna use the Mega Volume Mascara. This just comes in the one shade black, and it is 329. Okay, so moving on to primer. I'm gonna be using my absolute favorite primer. This is the Photo Focus Dewy Face Primer, and it is $5.49. So I have used this a lot on my channel. I love the glow it gives the skin. Now, I honestly 
typically wear this without any foundation. I just like the glow that it gives my skin. So I don't know that I've ever used this under foundation. So we will see today how that works out. I'm just gonna use this little bit and we are gonna put that on the face, mostly focusing on the cheeks. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Photo Focus Stick Foundation. This is their newest foundation. It comes in 21 shades, and I have the shade Buff Beige, and it is $5.99. How much I put on usually depends on my mood. I typically just do almost like a little heart and then a little up here. And I am going to blend that out with a brush. This is the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. And this is like the perfect shade match for me. So I do not have any setting powder from Wet n Wild, so we are moving right on to bronzer. This is the Color Icon Bronzer. It comes in two shades. Sorry, I can't open it for y'all. It's like crumbling inside, um, so please excuse the glare. It comes in two different shades. This is the darkest shade called Bikini Contest. Okay, so I did dim down the light on my ring light a little bit so that you guys could see the true color of this. It's actually not as light as I thought it was. So let's move on. Oh my gosh, I just realized that I did never put on my concealer. So I'm gonna be taking that same concealer that I used to prime my eyelids, the Photo Focus Concealer. I'm the shade Light Medium Beige. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot. We're just gonna do about that much. So moving on, next we have blush. This is the Color Icon Blush. It comes in seven different shades. This one right here is the shade Pearlescent Pink and it is $2.99. Okay, so this isn't the best shade of blush for this eye look. So we're gonna go a little bit soft with this. Not gonna put too much, but I wanted to include blush, especially since I actually have Wet n Wild blush. I do think that gave a little bit of needed color to the cheeks. So moving on to highlighter. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. It comes in nine shades. It actually added a couple new shades recently. This one though is the Cult Classic Precious Petals and it is $4.99. Okay, so before I move on to the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and set this makeup. So I'm gonna use the Photo Focus Primer Water. This is in the scent Coconut. They also have two other scents, Rose and Cucumber. So this is $5.49. Y'all, I almost forgot. So brows, I do not have a brow product from Wet n Wild because I just started getting into even using brow products, but I did decide to go ahead and try to use one of the shades in the eyeshadow palette. So I think the shade that's the closest to what I would get in a brow product is this one up here, this transition shade. It's kind of a taupe. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to fill in my brows a little bit. not the best my eyebrows have ever looked, but I actually think the shade was a pretty good shade match to what I would usually use for a brow product. I'm just not used to using, I'm not used to filling in my brows, so I'm used to using a brow gel that I just brush through. So I'm actually gonna spray. I said I was and I haven't yet, so here we go. 
All right, so finally moving on to the lips. I'm gonna be using two different lip products for today's look. This first one is the Megalass Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. It comes in 20 different shades. This one right here is the shade Rebel Rose, and it is 529. All right, and then over top of that, I just wanted to bronze it and shimmer it up a little bit. So this is the Mega Slicks Lip Gloss. They have 17 different shades, and this one is in the shade Bronze Berry. And this is regularly $2.79, but a few of them are on sale for 99 cents. All right, y'all, so that is the finished product. This is what $50 of makeup from Wet n Wild looks like. This is how far it will get you. So we pretty much had a full face of makeup. The only separate products that I did not have was a brow product, but as y'all saw, I could just use one of the eyeshadows from their eyeshadow palette. I also didn't have an eyeshadow primer, but I actually never use a separate primer. I typically use a concealer to prime my eyelids. So that is another product I guess that we didn't have. Wet n Wild is one of my absolute favorite brands, which is why I have pretty much a full face of makeup already. I didn't have to go out and buy anything. They're great at being super affordable, but at a higher quality. It no longer has to be, do you want something affordable or do you want something high quality? You can get something that is affordable and high quality with Wet n Wild, in my opinion. Thank you, Reina Peace. She is a subscriber that actually suggested I do Wet n Wild for my next one. So thank you so much, Reina, for that suggestion. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. So if we add up the price of all of these products, our total is $47.99. So we actually could have spent another $2.01. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Also remember before you leave to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment down below with any suggestions that you might have for what brand I do next. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye y'all.